in and out of rehab a few times. Why did you decide to give your facility a shot? Uh, I believe Scott looked everywhere in the world and uh, you know after he saw our center and and met with us uh, he chose us. What kind of shape was he in? I'm really not at liberty to comment but I can say this he's a he's a very normal guy and he showed up like a normal guy shows up. Is he being paid to go to your facility? Uh, he's not being paid to go to my facility he's actually paying to go to my facility but if it's successful and which we have every hope that it will be because it's successful so much of the time then I would like him to be a paid spokesperson going forward because he can influence a lot of people and, and really help a lot of people. What makes our center different uh, from traditional 12-step programs uh, is, is the plant itself, the Iboga plant. Uh, <clears throat> and it's incorporating that plant into traditional therapies as well. It's a, a plant from Gabon, Africa. Uh, was used by the pygmies before recorded time. Uh, this thing has been around forever. And it's used, it's the first line of defense in, in this part of Africa for uh, psychological disorders, personality disorders, uh, drug and alcohol addiction. It's their standard of care. It's the number one thing that they do. And uh, <clears throat> because of that, they have a very high success rate uh, with it over there. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not dangerous compared to other therapies uh, and it has a, a tremendously high success rate uh, at curing addiction. Is it a hallucinogenic? It can be. Uh, during that reflective period after you ingest the plant uh, some people see visions. Other people just have tremendous awarenesses. They, they are able to sit in silence and, and see why they were doing what they were doing and what the root cause of their addiction is. Can you tell us like how he's doing now? Like is he is he still in the program? Is he He's still in. He's still in and I understand he's doing well.